لبيك اللهم لبيك لبيك لا شريك لك لبيك السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته Welcome to Dean Love The Hajj Journey Series with Brother Ustad Najib Haji Haji Najib How you doing, Akhi? I'm doing good, Akhi Exciting, dirty Hajj Alhamdulillah, Alhamdulillah So far we started the Hajj series um, and we talked about why go to Hajj um, what to take with you when you're going to Hajj and also the traveling experience and now we want to talk about landing in Medina Medina to Nabi, the city of the Prophet you left the United States of America and you landed into the city of the Prophet how was that experience? how was that feeling? you know, SubhanAllah this was maybe you know, I, sometimes you'll see me mention a lot of hardships and stuff like that in Hajj mm -hmm. But one of the greatest moments that will make you forget about all of those things is this moment right here. The day you arrive in Medina, right? And the heat hits you. I remember the day I got out of the airport, right? Because we went straight to Medina, right? This is like one of the shocking things that you'll always remember, right? When that heat hit me, right? It's like 110 it's degrees the sun, outside. But it's the heat itself. It's like a microwave. I was like, oh my God. Goodness, never felt anything like that before, right? Mm -hmm. And then eventually, obviously, you get used to it, right? Mm -hmm. But the beauty where you feel like this is maybe the land of the Sahaba. Maybe some of the Sahaba stepped here. I'm walking in the same footsteps as Abu Bakr and Omar and Uthman, you know what I mean? And like, this is maybe where Khalid defended the deen, you know what I mean? It's like, it's intense, like, emotional feeling, bro. Mm -hmm. And so what happened? The minute... We got there, I couldn't wait mm -hmm. because Alhamdulillah our, our traveling wasn't as bad as other people, right? Mm -hmm. The minute we got there, I had to straight up go in there, take a shower, dress, change, get out of that hotel. Because I didn't go there to stay in a hotel, right? Yeah. The luxury of some of the Muslims who leave this place is that they leave with this mentality of just relaxing and like, like they're going on a vacation. Okay. And so what happens when you get there, you got people resting, relaxing, oh, they... The emotion the and, the, uh, and you know what I mean. The they, umbrella, yeah. they put aside the reality of where they're at, you know, and they get the, they let the tiredness and all that stuff get to. Them. So arriving in Medina was amazing. We drove through from the airport all the way to our hotel, and the first time you see the pillars of the masjid. masjid. So walking into the elevator right now, this is like a historic moment for me uh, in regards to. Um, Alhamdulillah that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave me the chance to come to the land of the Sahaba. This is Balad al-Islam, Balad al-Sahaba. And I'm here today. Okay, wrong floor. I gotta go to ground. And I am just came, we got to the hotel, took a shower, cleaned up, wore a nice stove, and then now we're heading to the masjid. First salah, I haven't even prayed Dhuhr or Asr because we were traveling all day. And we're about to go and pray. And do all that. So the weather out here, the air just hit me. Unbelievable. Everybody's walking over to Salah. I'll let you guys take a look. You know what I mean? Where subhanallah. That just the place where the Prophet used to pray. You even see its sight. You know, I see you used to we all used to see it on TV, right? And like images of like Prophet's Masjid and you're like, ah, oh, watch the green dome. And yeah, and everything. Like, yeah. SubhanAllah, but when you see real life, you're like, oh, am I really here? Mm -hmm. Like, is this really such, it? You know, it's hard to describe it in words. Mm -hmm. Just that feeling of when you see just the reality of where you're at. And that I took a shower, I remember I got dressed, I came down out of the hotel, wasn't worried about eating or anything. Did not care about how long I haven't eaten or anything like that. Sometimes that happens in travel, right? You won't eat for a long period of time, which is fine, alhamdulillah. I, get, I came down straight. Our hotel, we had the amazing, another travel agency thing. Make sure your hotels are right next to the, you know, the masjid and the haram and so on and so forth. So I walked in and then I had it. I got out. The heat hit me again. Yes. I, and then I kept walking and I'm like, wow, oh, this is going to take some time to get used to, right? Breathing in the heat, which is really, sometimes is, it takes a toll of, and, of, like, of the system of your body because you're not used to it. Mm -hmm. But then you get used to it, alhamdulillah. And then I went to the masjid. Those steps were probably the most amazing emotional mm -hmm. steps that I've ever had. 
I, you know, have you ever felt emotional into walking into something? You're like, I'm walking into somewhere that's like so historic, so has such a deep foundation in our deen, mm -hmm. where the Sahaba made sujood, where the Prophet ﷺ made sujood, just to have that honor of being there, and that Allah has welcomed me to be there. Not many people in life will ever get the chance to be there. And you have to think about it too, like, besides it being the masjid, the masjid was expanded into the house of Aisha. Yeah, so the much. The house of most of the Sahabas. Yeah, all the, of the environment. The place that they slept at, the place that they just sat at, you know? Yeah. It's, it's an amazing feeling. And um, also, a lot of one thing that a lot of people don't know is um, so the entrance that you come into the um, masjid. Uh, masjid Used to before before they changed the qibla. Yeah. Used to be actually where the prophet used to. Um, yeah. Pray, and that was where the camel stopped. You know. Yeah. That's where the prophet used to uh, lead the salat until it was changed from Jerusalem to Mecca, and then yeah. it was flipped to yeah. the other side. So, so imagine, you know, just the beginning of the entrance all the way to the end. You know, it's just historic and monumental, and also every salat you make in there. Subhanallah. Subhanallah. So much ajr and the value. And the most amazing thing, the people in Medina are just amazing, phenomenal people. They make your presence and you being there like the greatest thing in life. They make you feel like you're the most important person in life. Mm -hmm. And so such presence, such environment, such deen, such your ibadah, you actually khushu, like your concentration in salah is so deep. You're like, I've never felt anything like this before. And that's why this experience is so important for a young Muslim to go through. Don't wait till you're old to get this experience. Wallah. Either make a quicker umrah and do hajj as soon as possible. We'll talk about all the benefits as time yes. goes on. Inshallah, inshallah. So um, so far we had we did learn about arriving in Medina, what to carry and what to expect while you're traveling, as well as why why do you even want to go to Hajj and what you would want to take to Hajj, inshallah. And stay tuned for the next episode of The Journey to Hajj, inshallah, with Brother Ustad, Haji Najib, inshallah. Haji Najib, stop. Haji Najib, stop. Alright, inshallah, no, today started. I wish I went with you. Yo, <laughs> I wish I you know what? It's actually awesome. Yes. Maybe, inshallah, in the coming years, we should go together. Plan, you know what I mean, a nice journey of the brothers, or at least an Umrah, something nice something. that is, you know what I mean, that all the brothers could go together. That'd be inshallah. really awesome. وإن شاء الله تو نيكس تايم صلى الله وسلم على نبينا وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين لبيك اللهم لبيك لبيك لا شريك لك لبيك إن الحمد والنعمة لك والملك لا شريك لك